and we are live here at the NFT Expo Verse. Uh, it's turning out to be a great conference, guys. They uh, hats off to the team, and they do have quite a team. They're doing another one in Miami in March, so uh, make sure to put that on your calendar. I have with me here Hal Brainslum. He is the uh, CEO and the founder of the Metaverse Corporation. I love it. Metaverse, just Metaverse. The Metaverse, it's just the Metaverse. <laughs> yeah, just He's metaverse. the CEO of the Metaverse. I hope not. That is, sounds very evil, but uh, we it have a very. It does sound very better, evil. I'm we, like we reminded have a of a very uh, unique uh, message or mission. You know. Yeah. You know the, what is those uh, movies the kids love? It's like the baby baby corporation or whatever. Have you seen those? A monster corporation, right? Yeah, something uh, like yeah, that too. Yeah. Uh, so tell me a little bit um, about the metaverse mm -hmm. uh, corporation, sure, sure. and uh, what brought you here to the NFT Expo? Yeah, sure. So. Uh, I founded the company in 2016 in New York City before uh, in your dorm, I was an NYU student and uh, before anybody, you know, started using the word metaverse, I had to, you know, spell the word and all that. But uh, we spent, um, our initial vision was to build a metaverse that um, focuses on individualized experience and happiness instead of, say, a Facebook of metaverse, instead of uh, TikTok of metaverse because social media, what it does is like makes us so uh, anxious about you know our how we are perceived and our uh, you know the, the reactions other people give to us, right? So uh -huh. so metaverse, our initial goal is something quite similar to today's uh, Animal Crossing. Uh, it's a video game where people go to your island and they see your world and people play that game, sometimes they just spend time on their island doing, like, hanging out with their, the, the animals, right? So, um, in a way, our metaverse uh, vision for metaverse is using uh, AI to get people more companionships, and uh, you can grow in a personality, you can choose a personality as an NFT, just as you choose a face as an NFT. Like right. right now, we see face as an NFT, but anything can be NFT. Anything that contributes to the experience can be NFT. So, what we're trying to do is to make people to create an experience and dictate their own life in a metaverse that they can enjoy instead of going into a chaotic room, getting yelled by 15 years old, uh, and getting yelled at other people because of your. Uh, your username, uh, you don't know how to do this and uh, you feel outdated or whatever. No. We want to make internet more about everybody can be happy, not just I go into the metaverse and thinking I don't know nothing about him. <laughs> you know? Well, it's yeah. pretty interesting. Uh, he said a couple of things that I thought were very interesting. One, he incorporated the company in 2016. Yeah. So that was before the 20,000 bull run of 2017. So yeah, man, I mean, you're like OG status, pretty much. Yeah. You're like one of the original metaversers. Right. Right? Not as OG as uh, Paul, the, the guy who founded Oculus, but yes, we, 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 we did have the vision of metaverse, a, a different understanding of uh, the different digital world, yes. Interesting, so I know you're based in New York City now, one of my mm -hmm. favorite cities in the world. Uh, how are things going? What type of structure do you have? Are you doing like a token? round or are you right. doing a land sale or what are you doing for money have you guys raised money yes we have uh, raised money as uh, you know on the company level so that's how this project is made our NFT is called metaverse uh, uh, brain slum metador not metaverse brain slum metador that the, the game we're creating is called brain slum uh, the metaverse experience we're creating is called Met, uh, brain slum and um, so yes we have raised uh, money back in 2020 uh -huh. and that's was funding the company to create, uh, you know, the projects that we're doing right now. And these are gonna be kind of our first projects that we ever release to the market. And okay. we just started marketing last week. Nothing has ever heard about this project la before even last week. So we right. just started the whole campaign, basically. Okay, yeah. so yeah, tell me a little bit about it. So you're you're launching it here. What's your goal here? And what exactly is it that you're launching here? Is that is that it? Yeah, that's the game. That's the video game. And that's also the NFT. So as, as you can see, that, uh, the characters here, that's the NFT. Uh -huh. We created 20. Is that 000. you? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, we have three of me right here. But uh, uh, that's hey, our we, NFT. I need three of me too. So 20,000 of 
uh, these uh, unique game ready, mocap ready characters, uh -huh. and they, they can be motion captured from your iPhone. Okay. So one app that we're building is that um, you can use your iPhone to directly control any of these uh, one of the twenty thousand characters and uh -huh. use any of the scenes that we have created and directly embed that into um, any video that you're creating, like say for social media or for yourself, entertainment, uh -huh. or sending your friend. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like Apple emoji, but uh, we want to uh, bring this into directly how you communicate. You know? Okay. Yeah. So uh, what's your goal here? So the goal from this point on is the first uh, roadmap is for, of course, this app and this NFT we're launching in 50 days. Uh -huh. And uh, we're launch launching in about 50 days. We're starting the pre-sale of this NFT project, uh -huh. giving away um, whitelist spots right now. And uh, so it's a very great early time to join. And after that, our first roadmap would be the app where you control the faces of these you know, avatars. And then secondly, the, the roadmap is the completion of the video game that I was talking about, where you go on the island, you go into your world, and these avatars that you purchase will unlock certain personality types. You can build your character, grow your characters. And um, it's more uh, individualized experience than a social metaverse. Right. Interesting. So uh, somebody's going to come in, they're going to uh, buy the land as well, or just buy the characters and then nope. they make their land kind of in the space? The land, you can buy the land. We have a central hub where you can buy the land, but we want to make it more than, you have to experience something different. Like, why would we need to buy a land in a game that's worse designed than Minecraft? You can go play Minecraft. When the bubble is going away, why don't you go play Minecraft? So we want to make sure it's a solid experience, make people happy first, and then you go in there, the characters that you unlock, yes, it will unlock you certain benefits. Yeah. From the from the um, you know, from the game. Yeah. But we want to make sure it's a solid game first, yes. Yeah, well I think it's really cool. Um, obviously Hal is really cool too, so that helps, right? Uh, so what's the uh, social media website? How do people find you guys? Sure. Bring underscore slum that's my twitter and also my ig you know bring underscore. what is it again bring underscore what brain brain yeah brain the uh, brain slum brain brain slum brain underscore slum slum yes s l u m s l u m b r a i n underscore s l u m got it subtitle <laughs> and, what's, and, what's yeah, the, uh, and the website is yeah, uh brain slum.com Brainslum.com. Yes. Well, I think it's really cool, Hal. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks for yeah. coming on. Yeah, nice to talk to you and uh, follow along. Yeah. Yeah, sure. we will. Sure. We will. All right. We'll see Great. you soon. Sure.